So it looks like this is the big story. Well, one of two. In Oregon, BLM protesters clashed with Trump supporters and conservative activists. What makes me upset is there were clashes between the Proud Boys and BLM, and this is happening very soon after Antifa, an Antifa member attempted to murder a Proud Boy by running him over with his car. Now, what upsets me is only the Proud Boys were arrested. The BLM rioters were not. It really goes to show you who the police side with, the criminals. Meanwhile, Twitter is allowing deceptively edited videos, making Trump look bad, even though they're constantly censoring the president. Let's talk about a double standard. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, and today on the internet, we're gonna talk about Oregon, the protests, BLM, the police, and Twitter. But before we get into this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications for more content. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a share. And now, a quick word from our sponsor, Virtue Signal the Card Game. Virtue Signal is a card game parody of social justice activism, but could be more relevant to what's going on today. In Virtue Signal, you play as one of 12 different social justice warriors. The object of the game is simple, amass an army of NPC followers. Virtue Signal simulates the power struggles that goes on between activist groups. It's a lot of fun. There's also the Virtue Signal Expansion Pack, featuring a bunch of new cards, like Wax My Balls, Bigot, and Beautiful at Any Size. But you can get it all for only $34.98. Get yours today by clicking the link down below in the description. So, we've got two things to talk about, and I'm going to start with Twitter. Twitter is allowing deceptively edited videos to make Trump look disoriented to spread a false narrative that Trump has dementia or some neurodegenerative disease, even though we've clearly seen that Biden is not all there. If anyone is sick, it's Biden. Here you can see on MSN, Twitter, under fired. Twitter, under fire, for not taking down deceptively edited Trump clip. Here you can see two screenshots, and it's Trump pointing at a puddle. I believe the way the video was deceptively edited was, you see Trump kind of zigzagging around on the grass, and then he points to a puddle randomly. And then they posted this video online and they were saying, see, Trump has dementia. He doesn't even know what's going on. But if you actually look at the video, it's very clear what Trump was actually doing. Because as you can see here, Millennia was walking over, he was warning her not to step in the puddle. You know, like a husband would. But here's the problem, folks. This is why it's important. Twitter refused to actually label the clip as deceptively edited. They let it go viral and get over 2 million views. 2 million people were lied to about the president. And Twitter seems to do this a lot. Like Trump is constantly having his, uh, his tweets suppressed by Twitter or called fake news or called deceptively edited. Twitter is always interfering in our elections. And it seems like social media is becoming more and more brazen about their, their literal interference. They're controlling the narrative. Because these tech giants are leftist. They don't support Trump. They're anti-Trump. They think the orange man is bad. They're all NPCs. So eventually Twitter did add, well, it is deceptively edited. They added the tag to the video, but by then it was taken down. Now, here's the story. Twitter user Tom Joseph shared the video on Sunday with the caption, Trump is lost and disoriented here. His mind goes blank and he doesn't remember what he's supposed to do next. Quote, he's deep into his degenerative neurological disease, frontotemporal dementia, mindlessly lumbering and zigzagging in the grass towards a puddle. Yeah. You know what's most hilarious about this lie? And Tom Joseph, this, this guy's clearly a liar. And he clearly, I don't know if he edited the, the video, but he probably knew it was fake. So you have Democrats spreading this literal fake news. Now many journalists pointed out that the video had zero context and we're gonna watch it. Fastball, that I can tell you. Thank you. Why should Americans be allowed to buy assault weapons? Normal stuff. There's literally nothing bad about this video. And yet they try to spin the narrative. 
Over it says, LOL, amazing the way they try to spin stuff. I've seen this shared several times this morning. It's from 2019, and they fail to show the part when Millennia shows up. Wow. Yeah, because these people don't care about the truth. They have Trump derangement syndrome, and they're literally willing to lie. And then you have this left winger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man, leftist, I swear. Just as long as you maintain your outrage when it's done towards Trump's campaign towards others. Nonsense. Trump doesn't do this. Leftists do this. You see, the left always projects. When they say that Trump is having dementia, what they really mean is Joe Biden. Now, I think it's no secret by now that Joe Biden is uh, not all there. Here's Joe Biden, who can't even read the teleprompter. And I would like to know, what will your administration do to help them give them that chance? Thank you. Move it up here. You know, there used to be a basic bargain in this country. First, he tells him to move up the teleprompter because he can't read it. It seems like he's not even able to think of his own lines. And then, there, and then there's his very labored breathing. He can barely breathe at all. What is wrong with Joe Biden? Now, many have said that he may actually have a neurodegenerative disease. The left always projects. So when they say that Trump has dementia, it really makes me think that they know that Joe Biden, well, he might have a, some decline, to put it nicely. But it isn't funny, folks. Can we really let this guy get the nuclear codes? Like, unironically? Here's another clip. To fund Social Security and eliminate Obamacare in the middle of a pandemic. End of quote. End of quote. End of quote. End of quote. He actually reads it out loud. So it's not all doom and gloom. Biden is slipping in the polls. Here on the Daily Mail, Biden's five-point July lead over Trump in Texas evaporates. President gains momentum in Texas and edges ahead by two points, but the state still remains a toss-up, new poll shows. The fact that they actually believe that Texas is a, is a toss-up, not only does it show you how stupid the polls are, it really goes to show how far Texas is falling. Texas is a red state, and by God, it better stay a red state. Mm. The moment Texas flips blue is a moment that it will be time for civil war. So I don't really believe these nonsense polls. Remember when Hillary was running and they said, well, Hillary has a 90% chance to win the election. She's going to win all these states. I just don't buy it. Regardless, Trump is making progress, likely because people are seeing the violence. And yet you still have social media targeting conservatives. And they only target one side. When we talk about the modern left, they're always attacking the Republicans, the conservatives, the liberals, the moderates, anyone slightly right leaning. And that brings us back to the chaos in Oregon as Trump supporters clash with BLM. What really upsets me is that there were arrests, but they only arrested the Trump supporters. Are you beginning to see a pattern? We've recently had several Trump supporters hunted down by violent Antifa, BLM, and left-wing activists. Why are the police focusing only on Trump supporters? Here you can see chaos in Oregon as armed Trump supporters clash with BLM protesters. Multiple people arrested as fights break out between demonstrators after a huge MAGA vehicle rally drove from the Portland suburbs to Salem. And now this really makes me mad because... Trump supporters and conservatives are constantly being demonized and even hunted down in the street, hunted down and in some cases killed. But when a conservative, when a Trump supporter goes out to protest or show their politics, they make a cool parade, something people can watch. It's peaceful. It's fun. When Democrats and liberals and these BLM and Antifa members, when they go out to mostly peacefully protest, they riot, they destroy. They burn things down. And yet, who do you think the media demonizes? Oh, they demonize the Trump supporters. You know, I saw a video, and it was really angering. It, it, the, the sheer rage. Some kid at a school, a schoolyard, said, I kind of like Trump. And then two black youths came out and started beating people up. First, they beat the wrong guy up. Then they chased a white kid because he was white. The white kid said, it wasn't me and he was running, and then they beat him too. You want me to support your movement? Maybe you shouldn't be beating people just because they like Trump. And maybe Trump is actually the good guy. What have the Democrats actually ever done for you? You ever think about that? All of these cities that are burning to the ground 
are all run by Democrats. All of the left-wing activists complaining about the police and about brutality and corruption, those are all left-wing towns and cities and politicians. So who's the problem? Because you don't see conservative black people and white people rioting in the street. They're not the ones attacking people. And yet, when Preach It Prayer and the Proud Boys and these other right-wing groups that try to protect protesters from violent BLM and Antifa members, they're the ones who get arrested. This is why I'm losing what little respect I have left for police. First of all, the police are not doing their job. So here you can see, hundreds of Trump supporters gathered in Oregon City on Monday at the start of a pro-Trump convoy before driving to Salem and scuffling with counter-protesters. The event was organized a week after a member of Patriot Prayer, a pro-Trump militia, was shot and killed at the end of a similar caravan. Aaron J. Danielson, 39, was shot and killed by Antifa supporter Michael Reinald, 48, on August 29th, as BLM and pro-Trump sides clashed in Portland. Reinald was later shot after he opened fire on police. And we know now from footage that he hunted this man down who literally did nothing to him and executed him. And not so long after, after a memorial for Danielson, an Antifa member chased a bunch of members, uh, conservative activists, and then ran one of them over with his car. And he's in critical condition. He may die. Black Lives Matter is a menace, a public menace. And yet you're going to have these police officers only arresting the conservatives? Are you kidding me? I mean, look at this. It's a parade. It's a show. These people aren't hurting anybody. Here you can see a tweet on Twitter posted by Sergio Olmos. Oh, I bet he's not a left winger. And you can see how the police officers immediately go after the Proud Boys. Now, I don't know what happened before this clip. I have no context. And if I was a betting man, I would bet that they absolutely didn't show context. What was that BLM member doing? Were they possibly agitating people? Were they possibly trying to dox? I don't know, because they're not showing you. But look how the police side with the violent group known as BLM and Antifa. These are the people that have been burning down cities, attacking people, stealing people's things, and literally burning the country down. So it really goes to show you whose side society is on. Folks, it's not the left that is the resistance. They like to think of themselves as revolutionaries. They're gonna destroy capitalism and put in socialism and, and build a utopia like Chaz. But at the end of the day, the real resistance are the conservatives. When you have major corporations saying, hashtag BLM, when you have major corporations that agree with all of your beliefs, you are not the resistance. You are literally the establishment. The resistance are the ones that the establishment tries to, to suppress. That would be the conservatives. Conservatism is the new counterculture. It's the new punk rock. Now look, I do not condone pointless violence, but I know enough to know that context is important, so I don't have an opinion. I'll just say violence is not the answer. Defend yourself if you need to. And I love how these, this, these journalists, these left-wing propagandists, they try to paint the conservatives as the bad guys. They post a clip of them saying F Antifa. Yeah, F Antifa. Antifa hurts people. Antifa are fascists. Antifa burn things down. F them. Yeah, I agree. Who wouldn't? No, they don't because they support destruction. They, disport, they support rioting. We're only getting one side of the story here. Yeah, there must have been more to the story because the conservatives were released. Ultimately, they were not charged with anything. And that tells you everything you need to know. If the police did not charge them, then something must have happened before this footage. I feel like I'm arguing against three-year-olds sometimes. Candy England says, So they are against the people who are against fascism? Just because you call yourself anti-fascist, that doesn't mean that you're actually anti-fascist. You could still be fascists. 
That would be, by definition, make them pro-fascism. No, you're an idiot. Do you honestly believe that just because someone calls them... <laughs> okay, let me put it this way. Hi, I'm Ted Bundy. I'm anti-murder. By the way, I'm a serial killer. Do, do you see how that works? Like, if you're out there doing fascism and you call yourself anti-fascist, that doesn't mean that you're not fascist. We had a world war against fascism. The great Antifa was WW2. We won. Yeah, um, I, I hate to break it to you, but Antifa, they're kind of like the brown shirts which the bad people from World War II used to defund the police, destroy the police, destroy the media, and threaten everybody. Sound familiar? Well, that's kind of like Antifa, isn't it? Antifa are the modern brown shirts. I would go so far as to say Antifa are the modern... They're, they're the modern fascists. Let's just put it that way. Like, these people are so stupid. I am so amazed. They're actually out there praising Antifa. They think Antifa's good. Oh, man, I want Antifa to go to their homes. No, I don't wish them harm. I just want them to see the destruction. What will they say when it's their neighborhood that gets looted, burned down, and destroyed? Will they condemn Antifa then? Ah, oh, they're so stupid. But you know what, my friends? That's pretty much the story. Clashes in Oregon. Twitter manipulating and interfering in the election. We're fighting a, a war. A culture war. A civil war. And a war from the, the... A war for the future of America. I'm really scared. If Trump loses, and I don't think he will. But I do think they're going to cheat. I think they're going to try and steal the election and cheat with mail-in ballots. If we let them steal this from us, if we let them win, say goodbye to America. Say goodbye. The riots won't stop. The left-wing extremists won't stop. If anything, Biden winning would just embolden the radical left. So I don't want to see that happen. There you go. This is your morning news brought to you by Obvious. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below in the comment section. As always, if you want to support the channel, you can do so in a variety of ways. For example, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar, and joining will give you access to a private Discord server. If you want to donate, there's Donorbox and Crypto. Links are down below in the description. Other ways to support the channel are visiting one of my sponsors, Virtue Signal, the card game, for example. It's a parody card game. It makes fun of social justice. It's actually really good. It's, it's a highly recommended uh, sponsor. There's also Double Tap, premium quality headphones. These things are indestructible, made to last. You can check those out as well. And if you want a t-shirt, try my merch store. I'm looking to expand my selection, uh, but you know, gotta, gotta grease some wheels, get some art, get some licensing, and uh, I'll announce the designs when they're ready. But in the end, I'm just happy to have viewers. And I want to thank you for listening and spending your time here with me today. If you like this video, maybe share it, spread the word. It really means a lot to me when you share these videos because it's so hard as a conservative to, to even exist these days. I mean, we're constantly being censored, suppressed. We don't get recommended. It's an uphill battle. We're fighting a war on all fronts. You know, we're fighting a meme war, culture war. It's, it's, it's endless. And the best way that we can succeed as a whole is to have each other's backs. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.